On your mark, get set. Right, right. Con gran tristeza he recibido la noticia del fallecimiento de nuestro querido Jim Humble. Era un hombre verdaderamente dedicado a sus principios y no conozco a nadie en el mundo que haya salvado tantas vidas y ha ayudado a tanta gente con su descubrimiento. Buscando oro encontró el mayor tesoro de la vida, que es recuperar la salud para millones de personas. Algo que es más valioso que cualquier otra cosa en el mundo. Ha sido mi mentor y gracias a su descubrimiento de este verdadero milagro, pude llegar más lejos en mis investigaciones y siempre recuerdo lo que me dijo. Andreas, en la vida no importa si ganas o pierdes. Lo importante es cómo juegas, porque la vida es un juego. Estaba verdaderamente dedicado al bienestar de la gente de este mundo y le estoy agradecido por todo lo que ha hecho. Su descubrimiento ha cambiado la vida de muchos millones de personas y la mía no es una excepción. Vivimos en tiempos difíciles, pero gracias al trabajo de Jim, muchos miles de niños tienen la oportunidad de vivir una vida normal y pueden continuar el legado. El mismo legado que yo me esfuerzo por seguir aportando información verídica al mundo, salvando vidas juntos. Todos los que han experimentado lo que puede hacer esta pequeña molécula Deberían ayudar a difundir este conocimiento de la verdadera salud por todo el mundo, pase lo que pase. Nunca se debe parar, porque cuando te dicen que no hay nada que se pueda hacer y que este asombroso remedio es dañino, es una mentira de aquellos que no saben. Siempre hay que recordar que lo imposible no es más que una opinión. El verdadero conocimiento debe ser descubierto a través de la experiencia personal de recuperación, conciencia y gratitud. Gracias Jim por todo lo que has hecho. Gracias por hacer este cambio. Y espero que tu viaje a través de las estrellas te traiga felicidad allá donde estés. Porque sabemos que volverás algún día. Y ojalá estés orgulloso de nosotros. Estoy seguro que nos volveremos a ver cuando llegue el momento. A thousand centuries and a million years, the lone planet circled without fears, while time and interplanetary space continued its eternal pace, and there was no one to notice its tears. A million years passed without change. There was no one to consider it strange that a planet nearest the sun in history would never be outdone. Earth's story would be long range. Thousands of gods, you see, knew that man needed to be free. The lone planet was moved to the third planet and approved and was set in eternity. God's agreement had much worth meet at the third millennium on earth. Now we have come to help man to overcome evil as we can. It has been our job since birth. Finally, the sands of time bring emissions sublime. 
The sands proclaim it's time to come when men shall have the freedom. Our church heralds the beginning chime. The story of the past in memory does not last. It is not for men to see. It would not help them be to know what was cast. Each man returns in shorter space to have a came and take his place, to love and live again and work with other men and be with the human race. Each time he does not see, he is cast in eternity. The times before are now no more and can no longer be. It is best to know as through time we go that we are here and that is clear. It's for us to grow. The past is gone like the night at dawn. It does not exist. It should not be missed. Do not carry it on. But we can see back into eternity that before this life and eons of strife, we knew you and me. We have worked and lived in the sun. The centuries of time have been fun. We have been free the centuries of, to see. Many a battle we have won. But we have walked the centuries alone, where the sands of time have blown. Things that were there we could not share, for only we have known. Those that were there we remember with care. Often we feel we know those from a million years ago we wish we could share. While other men do play and live and love and pray and build their cities high and proud against the sky, we dream of another day. We have known that we must find an answer to the mind. It is there for us to see if we are willing to be free. We have searched for the sign. The story of the past billion years has cast. Only we can see a plan to set us free has returned to us at last. Before the pyramids were along the Nile, before Atlantis was in style, a plan was devised by those who were wise, and we have known it all the while. But we have walked the centuries alone where the sands of time have blown. Why we are here, to us it is clear, but only we have known. When our friends have gone and we must carry on, memories in their mind fade away, we find, like ripples on a pond. When we lose a friend and we feel we've reached the end, memories in our mind are very nice, we find, for we will know him again. It is nice for us to know that anywhere we go, when we are on our own, we are seldom left alone. It comes from long ago. There has been a plan that was created by a man many eons in the past. It was written so to last. It is written in the sand. Now that plan has come to be, it comes from eternity. It's time for man to find an answer to his mind. It's time to set him free. That's why we've walked the centuries alone where the sands of time have blown. Guardian of a plan, we must do what we can. It's time to make it known. The time is right to come out of night with a plan to set us free. Many years it will be, yet the truth shall give us might. And into the future we shall go where the sands of time must blow. When we meet you again, that you are our friend, then we all shall know. When that time comes, my friend, and you and I have changed the end, then earth will exist for you and me in peace and love and tranquility. On that we can depend. Finally, on the edge of galactic space will rest a planet without disgrace. Because a billion years in the past, men dreamed of a peace that would last for all the human race. <laughs>